So after coming off the last video I did, which was depressing as hell, we are absolutely effed, I decided, hey, let's do a video on something positive, fun, and awesome. How about that? How about we do something fun and awesome? How about that? So let's talk about, uh, I'm going to look at the source. I usually just read an article, but I'd rather come here. Oh, my ear. All right, so this is Furukawa. Furukawa, is it Furukawa? Anyhow, he's the, the, the president of Nintendo right now and probably will be for a while. At today's corporate management policy briefing, we announced that Nintendo Switch software will also be playable on the successor to the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch Online will be available on the successor to the Nintendo Switch as well. Further information about the successor to Nintendo Switch, including the compatibility with Nintendo Switch, will be announced at a later date. So there we have it. It has been confirmed by the president himself, and he talked about this at a uh, corporate management policy briefing. It's basically them going over profits and shit, and, and he gets asked questions. And instead of having other websites kind of dig through and talk about this stuff, he kind of jumps on it and it's like, yeah, yeah, we're we're confirming this. This is happening. Even though, yeah, it was a fucking given. People knew this was going to happen. People, it, just too many things pointed to it. So I had a feeling. I had a feeling that my son, this is good, though. This is good news. This is very good news. Let me explain why this is very good news. Because... I've got a lot of so I don't have a ton of software. I have a lot of physical software and digital software. I don't know if this, the digital software is going to work, but my physical software is still going to work on the successor. That's good. Do you know why that's good? Let me let me tell you why that's good. If you buy a Switch successor, this whatever it's called, Switch Two, Super Switch, whatever it ends up being called, you already have things to play on it. That's a great thing. That is awesome. Am I, the, am I the only one who's happy about that? I can't be the only one who's thrilled about that. I can't be the only one who's thrilled about that. Um, I get the feeling that a lot of rumors that we have heard up until now, a lot of, uh, you know, things that have been said, things that have been spoken of, that, that, that have been rumored, are probably true. A lot of things that we're hearing are true. That's not the only thing I heard about. So there was somebody who did some digging into, uh, oh, God, what are those people called? They'll dig into the code and everything. They dug into Switch Online code or something, and they found options for 4K resolution and shit. Shit of that nature. Uh, and I'm like, well, here's my thing. Why would that be on the current Switch? Why would that not pop up later on the successor? My theory moving forward is the Switch successor is literally just a more capable version of the Switch, quite literally, in that it can, it's going to be able to play everything that the original Switch could play. It's just more capable. It's kind of what, uh, it's kind of like the half steps, the uh, mid gen refreshes that we get on other consoles, only this is not a mid gen refresh. This is, this is beyond that. This is a new device altogether. But it's kind of like that, so to where it still plays all those games, and it'll maybe play them better. I get the feeling a lot of rumors we've been hearing have been true, just because they haven't been confirmed. My concern, and this is silly, my only concern is on the, the, the name of the device. I don't want it to be called Switch 2. I just, I don't want it. I don't want it to be stupid like new Nintendo Switch. Hey, this is the new Nintendo Switch. It's the newer version. Like they did with the 3DS. The new 3DS. I hated that. That was stupid. That was so stupid. The best sort of moniker that Nintendo's ever come up with for a console to me was the Super. When they went from the original console to the Super. So when they went from the NES to the Super NES. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System to the or the Nintendo Entertainment System to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I still want them to call this the Super Nintendo Switch. 
we went from the Nintendo Switch to the Super Nintendo Switch. I still want that. I still want that. Probably not going to happen. But I would prefer that over Switch 2. Switch 2 just feels eh. Switch Pro feels meh. Switch Advance could work. Switch Advance. Or something along those lines. I don't know. I don't think they're going to call it Switch 2. But they're probably not going to call it what I would like for them to call it. And it's funny that that's my only concern right now. I guess the other concern or thought I have is how much is this thing going to cost? Uh, I was gifted my current Switch. Um, and, uh, God, it's funny to look back at how far, how long ago it was that I got that thing. Wow. I got that thing, God, six years ago, I think right it was six years ago wasn't it i keep thinking so it was gifted to me so <laughs> depending on how much the switch successor is i'll buy one here's the thing and i don't know if nintendo's paying attention to these videos that i do if the switch successor is too expensive i'm gonna slap the money down for a uh Probably one of those Chinese handhelds. Probably a Retroid Pocket or a Retroid Pocket Mini or Retroid Pocket 5. One of those two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slap the money down for one of those. Because right now my main thing is being able to play classic games. And I'm tired of the having to pay monthly fees just to play classic games. I'm tired of that. Nintendo. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is, this is something completely off the cuff. And off, off from left field. But you cannot get Nintendo Switch Plus Expansion for a monthly fee. You have to pay yearly for that shit. So you have to pay... I can't remember how much you have to pay, but you have to pay it all up front. They do not have an option to pay for the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion for like, I don't know, $6 a month. Because I think it's like... Or 6 or $7 a month. Because I think it's like $4 a month for the regular Switch, on, uh, Switch Online minus the expansion but they don't have a monthly tier to pay for plus plus the uh the plus expansion they don't have that they don't have that it's unfortunate but they don't have that oh i am i am looking forward to learning more about the the next device there's there's got to be a lot more that we don't know you know they have to have a gimmick there's always a hook i say gimmick but i mean a hook they're going to try something new. They're going to add something new to the next device. We don't know what that is yet. We just know that it's probably going to be able to play everything we currently play. They're probably just going to add some new features, is what I mean. Anyhow, this has been the goof. I know I said what are going to do videos, but here we are. I don't know when my brother's going to get the fuck out. I love him. He's my brother. I don't know when he's getting the fuck out. I want to clean all this shit up behind me. That's why I didn't want to do videos. I wanted to you know, take a huge break, come back with a whole new setup behind me, all cleaned up, everything looking groovy. It's just not in the cards. My brother's dragging his ass, getting his shit done over there. He is completely dragging his ass. I don't know. This is the goof. I'm out.